guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today, we're going to be troubleshooting a water-cooled PC. In fact, it could be an air-cooled or water-cooled, but in this case, I'm having a little bit of trouble with this PC. So stay tuned. I'm going to tell you what's wrong, and we're going to figure out how to fix it. So let me start by describing the problem that I'm having with it. And this can happen on an air-cooled PC, water-cooled PC. It has nothing to do with the loop, so this is a separate issue. When I turn the computer on, everything comes on, it all seems normal, but there's no image on the screen. And after maybe a minute or two, it seems like the computer shuts down automatically. So we're gonna take it through a few troubleshooting steps in order to be able to figure out what could potentially be causing the issue. That way we'll fix it and then next time it happens, we'll know right away what we can do. So if you haven't watched my recent video on this build, um, here's a couple shots of it just so you remember. It's a fully water-cooled loop that has a Titan XP uh, graphics card in there. Um, it's only running a 9600K because this is a gaming computer and I found that to be you know, pretty much enough for the type of workload that I was applying to this. So now I'm gonna kind of demonstrate to you guys what's happening. See, I turned the computer on. You see the fan spinning up, the lights come on. Um, everything's working. So then, you know, I give it a little bit of time and then it's gonna shut off and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so you saw it just shut off. Um, it was on not too long, maybe two or three minutes at most. So this is an Asus Strix Z390 uh, motherboard, the, the Strix E. It doesn't have a debug little panel on it, so I can't tell if the motherboard is throwing colds or not. So let's start with step one. So the first thing that we're gonna check is a cable here. This is the uh, DisplayPort cable that's going from the computer to the motherboard. Um, this is a vertical GPU bracket, so it's a little bit tough to get in there. And sometimes I've had a few problems with some of these cables. So I'm gonna take this cable out and put Put another cable in and we'll see if we can at least get the monitor to come on unfortunately to get this cable out with a water cooled gpu i have to bend a little bit behind in the case but it, it bends back it's just so i get enough clearance to get this cable out or else i'm never going to be able to get it out just put in a cable that i know that works so let's turn it on and see if we get any action on the monitor so we turned it on and the monitor still is not coming alive so the monitor showing no signal so we're gonna have to break this computer down a little bit further to see what the problem is because the cable seems to be fine to remove a couple of panels I have some fan controllers uh, on the top so I want to make sure that there's nothing wrong up there nothing seems to be wrong on the top here so we're gonna put this panel back now we're going to open the back of the case and see if there are any issues with any of the connections here um, this is what connects all of my fans and basically controls fan curves and things of that nature so we're going to disconnect it and the pc might boot up without it getting nothing i've also just unplugged and disconnected all usb devices connected to the computer because you never know once in a while that could give you an issue as well so turning the pc back around um now, you know, let's continue to take a look here. Let's do a couple of more steps to see if we can find the issue. So, so far we've tried a different cable. You just see the computer shut off again. Um, we tried to disconnect the, um, the little USB controller for the fans, you know, that didn't work, no issue there. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna try is to make sure that the GPU is seated properly. Um, it does have a PCIe Express uh, ribbon cable, um, you know, an extension cable, because it is vertical. That's why I didn't primarily start with it right away. Since it's a vertical GPU, it's a little bit harder to move around. That's only one of the drawbacks of having hard tubing. If this was a regular GPU, I could have popped it out, put another GPU in there and see if it works. But since this one is water cooled, that's a little harder to do. I'd have to drain the whole loop it gets a little bit messy. 
So the next thing that we're going to try, um, since this is an Intel Z390 motherboard, that means that it does have integrated graphics. So I just removed the um, DisplayPort cable from the graphics card and I plugged it into the motherboard. This motherboard has an out for both HDMI and DisplayPort. Um, this way, we'll see if it boots up. If it does, you know, it's a problem with a graphics card. Okay, so it looks like we're actually getting an image on the uh, on the screen. This is going through the motherboard display port connection. Oh, wow. And it, and it booted up. Wow. So I guess there's something wrong with the graphics card. So we narrowed it down. So that's a faulty GPU. And this is a Titan XP as well. So that's not too nice. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the computer's fully booted up. It was not working with the Titan XP in here, um, which is, you know, it's a monster of a graphics card. But for some reason, it wasn't giving me any signal at all. So I took it out of the card. And thankfully, this is a Z390 uh, motherboard. Without having to take apart my water cooling PC, I was able to plug in the display port cable. Um, that way I'm able to tell exactly what's going on. All right, so I have a little interesting update. So a few hours ago, as you saw in the video, I put it in the motherboard display port and everything booted up, no issues at all. Um, so I went into Windows, I kind of updated all of the drivers. Um, I even reinstalled the uh, NVIDIA uh, graphics driver, and then I shut the computer off. So I go take the cable out of the back, I put the cable right in the graphics card, and voila, the screen comes on and it's working. Pretty amazing that it worked. So this tells me that all those troubleshooting issues, something fixed it, um, especially putting it on the motherboard and then booting the system, updating everything, and then coming back. My theory is there was something going a little bit haywire, maybe in, in Windows. So I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it wasn't a hardware issue. And then this just goes to prove the point. Try step by step your little troubleshooting um, steps, you know, from like the easiest to the hardest. Obviously, the hardest is draining the loop and taking the graphics card out. The easiest is just switching cables around. And in this case, it took a few hours after I had stopped using it. Then I went back to it and then plugged it in. I hadn't tried that before and it worked. Systems up and running right off that Titan XP GPU. So that's pretty amazing. Like I'm pretty happy I was able to fix it. I thought the GPU might've been dead 